abbiamo tanto da fare e dobbiamo farlo insieme. Welcome to Magnificat in 3LTV.com, a series of homilies of the Holy Father Pope Francis. These homilies are published in the Holy See website and we are reading from that for all faithful to be empowered. <laughs> Missa Pro Ecclesia with the Cardinal Electris. In Sistine Chapel on Thursday, 14th March 2013. The readings are as follows. First reading, Isaiah chapter 2, 2 to 5. Second reading, 1 Peter chapter 2, 4 to 9. Gospel is of St. Matthew chapter 16, 13 to 19. You could refer this. Now, Holy Father speaks. In these three readings, I see a common element, that of a moment. In the first reading, it is the moment of a journey. In the second reading, the moment of building the church. In the third, in the gospel, the moment involved in professing the faith. Journeying, building, professing. Journeying. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk to, in the light of the Lord. Isaiah 2, 5. This is the first thing that God said to Abraham. Walk in my presence and live blamelessly. Journey. Yes, our life is a journey. And when we stop moving, things go wrong. Always journeying in the presence of the Lord, in the light of the Lord, seeking to live with the blamelessness that God asked of Abraham in his promise. Building. Building the church. We speak of stones. Stones are solid, but living stones. Stones anointed by the Holy Spirit. Building the church, the bride of Christ, on the cornerstone that is the Lord himself. This is another kind of moment in our lives building. Thirdly, prophecy. We can walk as much as we want. We can build many things. But if we do not profess Jesus Christ, things go wrong. We may become a charitable NGO, but not the church. The bride of the Lord. When we are not walking, we stop moving. When we are not building on the stones, what happens? The same thing that happens to children on the beach when they build sand castles, everything is swept away. There is no solidity. When we do not profess Jesus Christ, the saying of Leon Bloy comes to mind. Anyone who does not pray to the Lord prays to devil. When we do not profess Jesus Christ, we profess the worldliness of the devil, a demonic worldliness. Journeying, building, prophesying, but, but things are not so straightforward because in journeying, building, prophesying, there can sometimes be jolts, moments that are not properly part of the journey, moments that pull us back. This gospel continues with a situation of a particular kind. The same Peter who professed Jesus Christ now says to him, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I will follow you 
But let us not speak of the cross. That has nothing to do with it. I will follow you on other terms, but without the cross. When we journey without the cross, when we built without the cross, when we profess Christ without the cross, we are not disciples of the Lord. We are worldly. We may be bishops, priests, cardinals, popes, but not disciples of the Lord. My wish is that all of us, after these days of grace, will have the courage, yes, the courage to walk in the presence of the Lord, with the Lord's cross, to build the church on the Lord's blood which was poured out on the cross, and to profess the one glory Christ crucified, and this way the church will be, will go forward. My prayer for all of us is that the Holy Spirit, through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother, will grant us this grace to walk, to build, to profess Jesus Christ crucified. Amen.